Yes, when I was 15, um, my dad came to the place that I worked at and he spoke to the owner of the garage and they were both looking at me kind of strangely and then my dad said to me, um, why don't you get on your bike, come home, I need to talk. When I got there, he told me that my brother had been killed in a car accident. I was petrified on the way home because I had thought, in fact, if something might have happened to my mother because she was away at the time. And so it was more shocking in some ways to find out that it was my brother who, in my opinion, had been in no danger. Nonetheless, it was a kind of a defining moment, moment in my life. Um, my first reaction was shock. And I, from that moment my dad told me until even after the funeral, I was just in a state of shock. And I felt like I had somehow changed and that the world was looking at me differently and that I didn't know how to process that. So I went on and continued to do the things in my life, in my home life. And, and, and then as years went on, I was always carrying this funny feeling and I really couldn't explain it. But as I grew older and married, had children, I started to be very concerned of where my children were. I was calling my wife at home, you know, are the kids home from school yet? And then if she didn't have the right answer, I might phone her back in a few minutes and ask that question again. I wouldn't go out to lunch uh, from the office until I was reassured that my children were okay. And, and I started, it didn't take very long for both my wife and I to determine that that wasn't really a normal behavior. And so how do you piece all that together? Well, what I did was I went to seek some help. I went to the family doctor and I was very lucky that our family doctor we also specialized in um, psychology. So I went to regular appointments with him and it took about two, two years or more of regular treatments to sort of uncover this link between the loss of my brother and the, um, my fear of loss and separation of my own children. It's a very profound, very profound thing to find out. And then it took a, quite a while after that to, to kind of put my, put my psychological health back together. So the learning for me here was two things. One is that when I was a kid, there wasn't anything available to help. And in this day and age, if a 15 year old boy lost his, lost his brother, uh, there is help out there available. And I would suggest that a family ensure that that child gets help. Typically parents are consumed with their own grief and the loss of a child and they forget that the brothers and sisters and other siblings uh, are caught up in this probably very profoundly, even though they may not look like they are. So the other thing is, is if you've somehow carried it on into the future, it's well worth going to seek some help. It was, it was difficult, but I certainly look back on it and feel that it was well worth it and it really changed my life, it allowed me to accept and handle so many more things in the future because of that.